Indian Affairs Country's first underwater tunnel to be come up in Andhra Pradesh Highlights Amaravati will get India's first ever underwater tunnel under the river Krishna, 3 km long and will be used for vehicular traffic. The tunnel is set to come up near Ibrahim Pitnam on the outskirts of Vijayawada. Pakistan singer Adnan Sami gets Indian citizenship. Home Ministry officials announced Adnan Sami will be granted citizenship. The Indian citizenship was granted after he made a representation to the Home Ministry requesting for it on humanitarian grounds. Government decides to merge Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs with MEA. Government has decided to merge the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs with the External Affairs Ministry. It was put forth by Sushma Swaraj, the Cabinet Minister for both ministries. Telangana become first state to accept e-motor insurance policies. Telangana becomes the first state in the country to legally accept electronic motor insurance policies. These policies can be stored and accessed on smartphones. Women to constitute 33% of constables in paramilitary, with a view to enhance representation of women in central armed police forces. Home Minister Rajnath Singh has approved 33% of constable rank personnel in paramilitary Central Reserve Police Force CRPF, and Central Industrial Security Force CISF, and 15% in the Border Guarding Forces Border Security Force BSF, Sashastra Seema Bal, SSP, and Indo-Tibetan Border Police ITBP, for being filled up by women. Knight and Gadkari inaugurated the first river information system of India. Union Minister of Shipping, Road Transport and Highways Sri Knight and Gadkari inaugurated the river information system at a function in New Delhi. It will facilitate safe and accurate navigation on national waterway, one on the Ganges River. International Kite Festival begins in Vadodara. International Kite Festival began at Zorat and Rajkit in Gujarat. Kite flyers from 31 countries set to participate, which will travel across the state before concluding at the Sabarmati Riverfront in Ahmedabad on January 14. Governor's rule imposed in Jammu and Kashmir. Governor's rule was imposed in Jammu and Kashmir under Article 92 1 of the Constitution of Jammu and Kashmir Reason because People's Democratic Party Bharatiya Janata Party Alliance will reportedly take some time to form the government again following the death of Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Mufti Muhammad Said. 100% primary education feat achieved by Kerala Kerala has become the first state in the country to achieve the status of 100% primary education. It has been declared by Vice President Hamid Ansari. SC State Centre's Notification Lifting Ban on Jalakatu Supreme Court State the Centre's Notification Lifting Ban on Controversial Bull Teaming Sport Jalakatu during the Festival of Pongal in Tamil Nadu. India becomes the member of EOS. Union Cabinet gave its nod for India becomes a member country of International Energy Agency. Ocean Energy Systems by signing the implementing agreement. The nodal agency for the membership would be Earth System Science Organization, National Institute of Ocean Technology under the Ministry of Earth Sciences. Sikkim crowned as India's first fully organic state. Sikkim has turned out to be the India's first fully organic state by implementing organic practices. As per the guidelines laid down in National Programme for Organic Production, 75, 000 hectares of agricultural land was gradually converted to certified organic land by implementing organic principles. Country's first water tourism to begin in Mathia Pradesh. The country's first water tourism will begin in Mathia Pradesh on February 12 to February 21 in Hanuvantia at Indrasagadam, one of Asia's largest man made water reservoirs with an aim of attracting more tourists to the state. India's first LGBT radio taxi service announced. India's first radio taxi service for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender was flagged off in Mumbai. Google launches first public Wi-Fi service in India. The first free public Wi-Fi service has been launched by Indian Railways Telecom Wing Railtel in partnership with Google at Mumbai's Central Railway Station. Minister of Railways Mr. Shuresh Prabhakar Prabh inaugurated the Wi-Fi service.
India's 67th Republic Day with unique traits. Today India commemorated and honored the 67th birth anniversary of its constitution as Republic Day. The main Republic Day celebration was held at the Rajpath in New Delhi. Along with ceremonious parades as a tribute to India, there was something different to this year's Republic Day. French President François Hollande was the chief guest of 67th Republic Day. India gifted ambulances and buses to Nepal. In a bid to strengthen the education and health services in the Himalayan nation, India has donated 40 ambulances and 8 buses to various hospitals, non-profit charitable organizations and educational institutions in Nepal at a function at the Indian Embassy in Kathmandu on 67th Republic Day of India. India's first blind-friendly train flagged off. Indian Railway flagged off India's first blind-friendly train, from Misuru to Varanasi. The train is financed by Pratap Saima, Misuru Members of Parliament, from the Mplid Fund. The train was inaugurated by Mr. Pratap Saima. International Affairs New coins for 2016 to feature Shakespeare and Beatrix Potter. New coins featuring William Shakespeare. Beatrix Potter, The Army and the Great Fire of London are set to be released in 2016. China admits first same-sex marriage rights lawsuit. China's first lawsuit on same-sex marriage rights has been accepted by a court, marking a milestone for gay, bisexual and transgender rights. Saudi Arabia is third happiest country. Saudi Arabia became third country for the world's happiest countries in which almost no European. It has only been cracked to top position by Fiji and Colombia. Kenya published new broadcast regulations. Kenya has published new broadcast regulations to place strict limits on sexual content and ban preachers from soliciting money on air. India marked as second largest fruit producer in global list. According to the handbook, published by the Oxford University, the upswing in fruit production makes India the second largest global producer behind China. Though horticulture has seen fruit production grow faster than vegetables but still, latter constitute the largest segment of this sector of agriculture. India downgraded to 89th rank on Global Talent Competitiveness Index. The annual Global Talent Competitiveness Index, GTC, has downgraded India with 11 places and landed it to 89th position. The top position was held by the Switzerland followed Singapore, Luxembourg, United States and Denmark. India ranked 22nd among world's best countries. India ranked 22nd among world's best countries today. India proved itself as the world's fastest growing economy. India ranked 22nd among world's best countries. This report was released by the World Economic Forum in the annual meeting. India that exports a wide range of advanced products everything from jet engines to medicines to soybeans. India's growth rate is expected to rise to 7.5% this year. Denmark crowned as world's best country for women. In accordance with the 2016 best countries ranking by US News and World Report. Denmarkers made it to be at the top of the list of world's best country for women to live in. It was disclosed during the World Economic Forum in Davos. Switzerland, Algeria and Pakistan are the worst countries for females. Japan unveiled country's first stealth fighter aircraft X-2. X-2 is likely to go through its first test flight in February 2016. It costs 340 million US dollars and is smaller than a standard jet fighter. It was built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Limited under the policy Mitsubishi Advanced Technology Demonstrator X. Similar to F-22 of the USA it has two engines and is 46 feet long 30 feet wide and 15 feet tall. Banking and Finance RBI asked the banks to open banks in villages with a population of more than 5,000. Reserve Bank of India asked state-level bankers committee banks to identify villages with population above 5,000 without a bank branch of a scheduled commercial bank in their state.
Jeevan Lab initiated by Lick Life Insurance Corporation of India introduced a limited premium paying, non-linked with profits endowment assurance plan Jeevan Lab. Jeevan Lab is a limited premium paying endowment plan which means premium paying shall be less than the policy. Tenure in policy holders nominee will receive the maturity benefit together with any other benefits at the end of the policy term or on the death of the policy holder, whichever is earlier. RBI imposes Rs 1 CR fine on State Bank of Travancore. RBI has imposed a penalty of Rs 1 crore on an SPI associate bank that is State Bank of Travancore violating some of its instructions including report of data to Central Repository of Information on large credits which was set up by to collect, store, and disseminate data on all borrowers' credit exposures. SPT launches online platform for KSCB bill payments. SPT, State Bank of Travancore, has tied up with the Kerala State Electricity Board to provide customers of the State Utility Online Facility for remittance of electricity charges. ICC Bank opens its first branch in South Africa. ICC Bank inaugurated its first full-service branch at Santon in Johannesburg. This branch will undertake banking activities only for corporates and offer trade finance and short-term funding for companies having trade links with India. Japan's central bank adopts negative interest rate policy. Tokyo headquartered Bank of Japan has imposed a negative interest rate of minus 0.1% on accounts it holds for commercial banks. It will start to charge them for looking after their cash. Business India's Petronit LNG Inc. revised contract with Raz Gas of Qatar. India's biggest gas importer Petronit LNG has signed a revised contract with Raz Gas of Qatar Motive to import gas at a significantly lower price, as a reflection of falling global prices. It will save downstream consumers in India around Rs. 4,000 crore a year. Alibaba's first Indian trade facility center opens. Wholesale trading platform, China's Alibaba.com launched its first physical trade facility center in Jaipur in the Hindi portal, aimed at connecting small and medium businesses with global buyers. Awards and Recognitions Easier Award 2015 for Trade Facilitation Conferred Upon DAVA Project The DAVA, Drug Authentication and Verification Application, project has won the 2015 Easier Award under Trade Facilitation category by Asia-Pacific Council for Trade Facilitation and Electronic Business. Delhi Police enters Limca Book of Records for solving India's biggest cash heist case. Delhi Police entered into the Limca Book of Records for solving the biggest cash heist case of the country in November 2015. On November 27, the driver of a cash transit van allegedly fled with Rs 22.50 crore, following which the entire southeast district of Delhi Police was put into action. In less than 10 hours, the police tracked down the driver and recovered the stolen amount, except for Rs. 10,500 which the accused driver had spent in food, alcohol and some articles, said a senior police official. Flipkart wins website of the year India 2015. Flipkart has been named the overall winner of the website of the year India 2015 in an online poll which was conducted by marketing analytics company Metrics Lab. 2015 Costa Novel Prize conferred on Kate Atkinson's A God in Ruins. British writer Kate Atkinson has won the Costa Novel Award for the second time in three years for A God in Ruins. It is the companion novel to Life After Life. With this award, she became the first author to receive Costa Prize for three times God in Ruins in 2016, Life After Life in 2013 and Behind the Scenes at the Museum in 1995. Golden Globe Awards 2016 The 73rd Golden Globe Awards held at Beverly Hilton in Beverly Hills, California honoring Best in Film and American Television of 2015. Here is the list of winner. Best Motion Picture, Drama, The Revenant. Best Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, The Martian. Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Drama, Leonardo DiCaprio. Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Drama, Brie Larson, Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, 
Matt Damon, Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, Jennifer Lawrence, Best Director Alejandro Gonzalez in R2, Best Animated Feature Film Inside Out, Best Foreign Language Film Son of Saul, Hungary, Television Best Series, Drama, Mr. Robot, Best Actor in a Television Series, Drama, John Hamm, Best Actress in a Television Series, Drama, Taraji P. Henson. 2016 FIFA Ballon d'Or Award Bagged by Lionel Messi Argentina's professional footballer Lionel Messi has been conferred with the FIFA Ballon d'Or Award for the World Player of the Year beating his greatest rivals Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar. National Award on a Governance Bestowed Upon Provident Fund Organization Employees Provident Fund Organization has been conferred with National Award on a Governance 2015-16 for launching the Universal Account Number. Adele's Hello enters Guinness Book of World Records Global Superstar Adele's, UK, recent hit song Hello reached to staggering 1 billion views on the popular video platform YouTube in mere 88 days. William E. Colby Award bestowed upon Midnight's Furies, a book on India's partition. 5,000 U.S. dollars William E. Colby Award 2016 of U.S. has been conferred upon book Midnight's Furies, The Deadly Legacy of India's Partition authored by Nisad Hajari. Appointments Atul Sobti assumes charge as BHELCMD. Atul Sobti assumed charge as Chairman and Managing Director of Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. Mary Barra, first woman to chair GM as CEO, after achieving the feat of becoming U.S. automaker General Motors' first female CEO now. Mary Barra again created history by elected as its chairman. Amit Abbachan and Priyanka Chopra replaces our Amir Khan as Incredible India Ambassador. Government's famous Incredible India campaign to market the country to tourists abroad has appointed Bollywood veteran actor Amit Abbachan as its new spokesperson for a period of three years. Urjit Patel reappointed as RBI Deputy Governor for three more years Government has reappointed Urjit Patel as the Deputy Governor of Reserve Bank of India for a three-year term. Patel is a doctorate from Yale University, also had a stint at IMF. Atulesh Jindal designated as the new chairman of CBDT. Government has designated Senior Revenue Service Officer Atulesh Jindal as the chairman, Central Board of Direct Taxes. He will succeed Aaron Kumar Jain. Marcelo Rebelo de Souza elected as the president of Portugal. Marcelo Rebelo de Souza elected as president of Portugal by winning 52.4% of the vote is against nine rivals. Nokia completed acquisition of Alcalucent for 15.6 billion euro. Nokia announced acquisition of Alcatel-Lucent French firm in an all-stock deal for 15.6 billion euros that is 16.6 billion US dollars. Science and Technology Sri Lanka, location to world's largest blue star sapphire. The world's largest blue star sapphire Weighing 1,404.49 carats has been found in a mine in the city of Ratnipura, in southern Sri Lanka, which is known as the City of Gems. Bangalore to get India's first space park As part of Make in India initiative, Indian Space Research Organization has decided to open the 100-acre space park in Bangalore where private industries would be allowed to take up manufacturing of space system-related components. China's country code domain.cn becomes world's largest, according to the data released by the China Internet Network Information Center. China's country code domain CN has become world's most commonly used in the Internet with 16.36 million users, surpassing Germany's apostrophe. The domain Stockholm to get world's first 5G network. Stockholm soon becomes the world's first city to get the ultra-high-speed 5G mobile network. 5G network can easily support self-driving, battery-operated cars, and artificial intelligence-enabled robots. 5G network will be rolled out by Swedish-Finnish telecom operator Telia Sonora.
and Swedish telecommunications giant Ericsson jointly at Stockholm and Tallinn. Sports Ravichandran Ashwin entitled with number one test bowler and all-rounder. As per ICC ranking India of spinner Ravichandran Ashwin has ended 2015 as the number one test bowler and all-rounder. Qatar Masters Open Chess Tournament title clinched by Magnus Carlsen. Indian national football team has climbed three steps above and reached at 163rd on the ladder of FIFA World Rankings. India gained seven points after their recent SAF Cup win over Afghanistan, who are now ranked 153rd in the list. India's highest world ranking is the 94th position that they achieved in 1996 under the former Rospik coach Rustam Ekrimov. India is looking forward to host the U-17 World Cup next year. Malaysia Masters Grand Prix gold title backed by PV Sindhu. Indian shuttler PV Sindhu has clinched the $120,000 Malaysia Masters Grand Prix gold title by defeating Scotland's Christy Gilmore by 21-15-21-9 in a 32-minute clash.